Hey everyone, Chad Newman here with Chad and Senior Real Estate Group, broker owner, team leader. And today I want to talk about everything that you need to know about home appraisals. Stay tuned. All right, so what every seller should know about appraisals. So basically appraisal is an opinion value of your home. So what are these appraisers looking for? So the main thing they're looking for is, you know, size, square foot of your home, any improvements. Um, if there are any improvements or additions, they're looking for permits, uh, making sure everything was done correctly and properly. Um, and they're also gonna compare your home to the recent, most recent sales in your neighborhood or surrounding area. And the second thing I wanna talk about is appraisal gaps. So last year, um, at this time, we had um, multiple offers. Um, we listed property and you know, the offers were coming in above asking price. So the appraiser was having a little bit of a hard time as far as getting the proper appraisals for these homes because they were priced so high. And then with the, ext with the extended um, offers that were going above asking price, they were having a hard time trying to find most recent sale. Um, so even if a, if a property sold that was comparable to your home, um, say, you know, within 30 days ago and your home value uh, with all the offers came in like $30,000 above, that last appraisal, there was an appraisal gap difference of $30,000. So um, at that time, we were actually writing in on the offers that the buyer would either pay for half or all of the, the gap with from the appraisal. So we had a little cushion in there. So now it's, it's kind of the market has shifted a little bit. And sometimes now the, the appraisals are coming in a little less than um, what they have been. So then we have to kind of come up with some other options to finding that way to help um, you know, prove the value of your home. And we've done that successfully here. So it's always good to have a professional represent you and to kind of help you through these, these processes. Um, and number three is, should we get a pre-appraisal done before we list a property? So that's always a great question. Um, and always um, want to caution everyone that do these is since uh, there's no like purchase agreement or anything else that's tied to the property, um, it's going to, it's going to be very hard for the appraisal to or appraiser to evaluate your house without any other numbers. He's going to try to do the best, but most of these guys are going to be very conservative. So even if you get like a home equity line of credit or anything like that, they're only, only going to lend, um, you know, 80 to 90% of that difference in the appraisal value. And one more thing about the pre-appraisal before you list a property, I want to take a note. Um, even if we do get an offer, during the listing period and say your appraisal came in better than the third party appraisal. Uh, once we do get a buyer, you cannot use your appraisal to justify the appraisal value of your home. So again, it's always good to have a great professional to represent you. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this information, please give us a call 904-219-7539 or shoot me an email at chad and chadandsandy.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.